Today we're going to be replacing the screen on a Dell Studio 1555 laptop, model PP39L. We'll first begin by removing the battery. Slide the battery keeper latch over and just pull the battery out. You'll then open the laptop so that the power switch will be active. And you'll depress and hold the power button for about three seconds. This will ground out the system board. Remove the center control cover screw. Remove the three screws retaining the back cover. And then remove the two screws on the bottom side of the display brackets. Remove the antenna wires from the mini card. Remove all the antenna wires from their routing channels. And then open the keyboard completely, uh, open the display all the way up. And just take your fingers and very gently begin to pull up on the center control cover and it will snap out. Just be very gentle so you don't break it, especially when working down the sides and across the bottom. It's very thin, very narrow, it's very easy to break. So just work it out very slowly, very gently. It just, just snaps out. You'll then remove the two screws that hold the keyboard in, one on each side, one on each side at the top. Turn the keyboard over and take. Uh, and remove the little retainer tab that holds the keyboard cable in place. Then disconnect the display connector cable and the camera cable. You'll then remove the power switch cable. Pull the antenna, uh, antenna cable wires up through the hole. And removing from a routing guide, you will then remove the top two uh, display panel bracket screws. And the display panel, you would just lift up then, work it up off the base brackets. Okay, set the base off to the side, turn the display upside down, and very gently just begin to work your fingers under, and just kind of roll the bezel up and it'll snap right out. Just work it very gently. Again, it's very thin, very narrow, it's very easy to break. It's just plastic, so just work it around very slowly and very gently. Set the bezel off to the side. We will then remove the four um, screen bracket screws, lift up the screen. Disconnect the screen cable connector. Then remove the two end brackets. There's just two screws, one at each end. Flip the screen over. Now, this ribbon, cable ribbon, is not going to come on the new screen, and it's just taped on. So you just very gently work this tape up, because if you just pull it real straight and real hard, you're going to crimp that cable, and you could possibly break the wire in the cabling. You just work the tape up very gently. Pull up on the tab, the pull tab on the keeper for the connector, ribbon connector, and remove it, and then just reinsert the connector the cable back in and then just press down the, the keeper latch it's just a little wire snap and tape the cable back down it will still stick back down it's a very good tape <laughs> uh, you just for safety you might want to just put a couple small pieces of uh, scotch tape just for an added to make sure it stays down very well okay and we put the end brackets back on. Once the end brackets are on, we're ready to put the screen back into the display panel. We're going to reinsert the screen cable and connector. Make sure it's firmly in inserted. And we'll then reinstall all four of the bracket screws, retaining the screen in the display panel. Then. 
the hinge brackets actually have two little round opening guides for these cables to go through. And just make sure you have those tucked back in those little round guide openings. We'll then reattach the bezel. Start at the bottom end, uh, going over the hinge brackets. Work that down and work those over the, the cables. And then just snap those back on to begin with. And then you will just start pressing down very gently. The bezel will just snap right back in. Just work it all the way around. Okay. Now we bring back the base. And everything's just in reverse order. We we'll reinstall the display panel back on the base. And the two retaining screws. You then reinstall the display and camera cable back through the routing guides and reconnect those. Same thing with the antenna wires cables. You will reinsert through the holes and lay those down in the routing guides. At that point, we're ready to reinstall the keyboard. Just lay the ribbon back down in the connector and take the little keeper tab and just slide it in. And it just snaps in on top of the ribbon. And you just give a gentle, gentle little tug once you get that in. Make sure it's firmly in. The ribbon's firmly in. Reinstall the keyboard. It just snaps down and turn it around. Reinstall the two retaining screws for the keyboard. Reinstall the control center cover. It just snaps in again. You just work it around. Okay. Close the laptop. Flip it over. Rework the antenna cable wires back down through their routing guides, and you'll reconnect. Uh, you may have one or two mini cards. There's two sets of cables, and they all have connectors on them. In my case, I only have one mini card, and here I'm reattaching those two antenna wires to the connectors on the mini card. And the rest will just lay tucked neatly down in. Reinstall the base cover, tighten up the three screws. Reinstall the center control cover retaining screw. Reinstall the bottom side uh, display panel bracket screws. Install the battery. Flip it over. Power it up. There's no software downloads, installed software, drivers, anything. Everything's already correct as it should be when you took it apart. No BIOS updates to have to do. And there we see. The screen works very well. Works fine.